I had a client reach out to me a couple weeks ago asking if I could simplify all this wonderful information that's in their Google Ads reporting system into just a real over, just a brief overview of critical information that they wanted that could be emailed to them on a weekly basis. And I said, sure, let me look into that. And this is what I came up with. Uh, I came up with this, this report that gets mailed or emailed, I should say, every week on Monday and it is comparing two weeks ago information from the current week so we're looking we're comparing values to see how is the campaign changing positive and poorly they want an executive summary quick overview don't need to get into the minutia just let me know if I need to be aware of anything so that I can take action yes or no in this case we start with the executive summary kind of hey these are key areas that you should be paying attention to in this case there is conversions drop 31.9 percent this week while costs remain relatively stable indicating an urgent need to review campaign efficiencies please focus on campaign performance um, and then down here are the actual values that we are looking or tracking so we have clicks conversion cost and impressions uh, we are looking at the prior week to the current week and then we can see if there's any net changes or drops and here's that big one that got uh, this key alert going right here so it's nice with the, with the way it's formulated because we've got green for positive, red for negative. Makes it just real easy to quickly review what's going on. You can also look at the campaign performance, clicks, impressions, click through rate, conversion, conversion rate cost and cost per conversion. And what's really going on here is that uh, this report specifically is heading into the holiday season. And we can see that ad costs are really starting to jump up. They've increase 42 percent um, based on cost per conversion and so this is kind of this is what's driving this negative report right now but we can also see at the end are some uh, recommended actions urgent investigate conversion drop review targeting bid strategy optimize landing pages implement retargeting campaigns and analyze search query reports so you can imagine as a business owner this is going to be much easier to quickly digest what is going on what do i need to pay attention to and where do i need to take action if any let's jump into how we actually create all this and i use a system called make.com you can set up your own free account there's a link down below and one of the things i love about make is it automates ai um, there's a number of steps that go in here that I could do manually, but if I just set up the system in make.com, I don't even touch anything. The email goes out automatically every Monday like clockwork, and I never have to touch a thing. It's one of the things I love about AI automation. And by the way, this whole system, if you're interested, there's an SOP down below where you can actually build it yourself if you'd like. Uh, so what's going on in here? Well, in this scenario, what we're doing is we always start from the left and we work our way right. And the first thing it's doing is it's going out and it's grabbing Google Ads information from two weeks ago. Once you're connected to your Google Ads account, we're telling it specifically, hey, I need you to collect this information in this date range. Now, if you're building this out yourself, one of the things I had to figure out on my own was that this only will run on Mondays for some reason. So if it happens to be Wednesday and you're trying to do something seven days ago, you will get an error. It took, I probably spent an hour, hour and a half trying to figure that out. And once I figured it out, it works, which is great, but you can only run this on Mondays. Don't know why, I just know it is. The second thing that we're gonna do is, or the automation is doing, is it actually needs to separate all that information. So it's actually retrieving or it's receiving a CSV file from Google Ads automatically, and it needs to actually identify what is the information it's receiving so that it can feed it to the AI and tell it, hey, this is what I want you to do. We're actually gonna do this twice because again, we're comparing two weeks ago to one week ago so that we can actually have that comparison person uh, output or report. All the magic is going to happen right here. I'm actually using Anthropic Claude, but if you wanted to use ChatGTP, 
you can do that also. And the real heart and soul of this whole system is going to be in this prompt here, where I'm letting Anthropic know that you're an AI assistant that creates professional HTML, HTML email reports, analyzing Google ad performance data. And I'm telling it that I needed a comparison from last week against the data from two weeks ago. Here's the information that I'm now feeding it. I'm giving it parameters, you know, what is it when you when you tell AI that you want to analyze something, you then need to give it uh, parameters so it knows what are the boundaries of the information that you want me to analyze. So I'm giving it all that information. And then the other thing is I'm asking it to output this in an HTML email. One of the nice things with uh, Gmail, and I'm using Gmail to send these out, is it will actually send an email out, a formatted email in HTML. That way we can add all that different formatting you saw, all the buttons. Let's go back to it. Um, the, all this formatting that you're seeing, the bold, the, um, the icons, all the you know, all the things that you see here is formatting that is in this HTML right here. This took a little bit of time to create because when I originally did it, it just sent me text. It was just like one long string of text of everything. I was like, no, 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 we need to get better at it. And so what I actually did, oh, here's it. This is what I was receiving originally. I literally received an email with a line of text just like this. And so I jumped into uh, Claude and I said, hey, I need you to help me. I said, you are a prompt engineer with extensive knowledge of UX design, uh, email formatting and human psychology. I need your help to modify the attached prompt to output information uh, that a busy manager could easily, easily review and grasp key information on. So I uploaded the original prompt that I had that wasn't working. Uh, I said, here's an example of the current output and why just it's like, uh, it is ugly. So it went through and it started making suggestions of what to do and it gave me some output. And then when I got the output, oh, look, we have some formatting. But again, it just did it in a one long text. Um, so it's like, yes, we're getting better. However, or I actually said this is this is better, but it's not easy to read. I think you need to add some HTML structure to it. Uh, I will be sending the report via Gmail. Here's the output. And so it went and did it again. And then not a coder. Oh, it. Yeah. One of the things you'll do is it'll actually give you information here of what it's doing, but then it will only give you half the code and it'll say, just amend your old code with this. And so one of the things I've learned over time is when it does that is I go, hey, that looks great, but I need you to include everything in the prompt because I'm not a programmer. I don't want to mess anything up. So finally, it went ahead and it gave me uh, everything that I wanted and we could go through. I just went through that with chat GTP or with Claude in order to get all of this HTML. And you can see it's got all these great little icons. It's all fully structured. I didn't actually create any of this. I simply told Claude, hey, this is what I want you to do. And then I copy and pasted it in here. And then the last thing we need to do is we just need to send an email. Now, within make.com, you can run these scenarios one time if you're just doing a one-off. In my case, I have a custom schedule here. And this schedule is going out Monday at midnight, well, 1230 actually, uh, just after midnight every single Monday, because again, I can only pull information on Mondays for some reason. So if you'd like help setting this up or any other AI automation for your business, there is a link down below. You can schedule a complimentary 15 minute call and we can talk about your needs and see what's best for you.